last one is really where it taken to the next level and that is have an accountability partner and what is an accountability partner accountability partner is someone it could be a mentor it could be a coach it could be your wife it could be a husband it could be a family member it would be someone who you trust and someone who you can report your progress to and someone who can push you and inspire you and uh, uh, give you some uh, motivation to go ahead now here's the thing ideally of course the best thing to have is an accountability partner is someone who is much better than you in the subject that you are learning so if you are learning about coding obviously the best accountability partner will be someone who is much better than you in coding right or in music your accountability partner will be someone who is your teacher if you can uh, get a mentor that will be the best but even otherwise here's the thing you can actually have someone who you really trust and then you tell this person that you know what please every week I'm going to report to you what are the few things I have done towards this skill and that person will have to listen to you and then just, just all that person has to do is okay you know what if, if you don't report to them that person has to call you or send you an email and say hey what happened man the last one week you haven't told me the report or you're working on that just that nudge is actually going to really help you to continue doing the things remember that's the reason why if you just go back to everything I told you number one is time management so once you manage your time in that time management itself when you decide the time I also want you to block time off of having a chat with your accountability partner towards every at, at the end of every week now you can have more frequently than once a week it's up to you how you want to do that but like having an accountability partner someone who can someone who you can send a report to on a regular basis will totally ramp up your efforts in keeping your momentum because I mean ideally of course you're self-motivated you really want to do your on your own you don't need anyone's help if you can do that fantastic go ahead and do that and of course step number one to six will definitely help you with that uh, otherwise actually someone having another human being to inspire you or you can actually give some report to is really really going to take you the whole process of learning uh, very seriously I can tell you if you have step number seven everything will be much faster